right there wants an NXT TakeOver Brooklyn! Yeah. Started off, the War Raiders. Well, awesome. the pre-show had the AJ Styles and all well, that million dollar challenge thing, which was... Wow. Looked like a setup or something. Well, scare. let's see. They had... Well, let's see. There's only, like, what? Ten minutes left till, um... Only ten minutes till the show started, so basically... They just had to do that real quick, get it yeah. over and done with. There was no match. He just, the Styles literally didn't look like he was really playing. It was just like, what? What? He just, like, basically let him win. Yeah. So, but anyway, but let's get to the NXT TakeOver. Yes. Now, war Raiders. War, 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 war. First, Alistair Black and Ricochet for the NXT Tag Team Titles. Yeah. Best way to actually start off the thing. Off tonight. Both, both good teams. Te both of them uh, d uh, dominated this match. It was amazing. Yes. End up being um, just the, the War Raiders, Raiders retaining. Um, they did the, like their tag team finisher. Yeah. But after the match, they bowed to. They actually shook hands with Aleister Black and Ricochet. They bowed in respect, and then. Ricochet and Aleister Black are bowing to the fans because basically this may be the last. This is the last time we see them in NXT. Yeah, and they also have a match at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Tag Team Title. So let's see if they can do win them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have Velveteen Dream versus Matt, Matt Riddle. Riddle. Yeah, bro. And that also was another good match. Yes. Back to back, also matches. Oh yeah, that was for the NXT North American Championship. It was kind of gross at the beginning, where his flip flop went. <laughs> <laughs> the fans caught the flip flops, but Dream actually won. Yeah, Dream won. He retained it. He had him in um, Matt had him in a bro mission, and then like Velveteen Velvet Dream just like the yeah, rolled him up. So. Yeah. Yeah. Give him he countered it into a pin and yep. he won. Then Matt Riddle actually stands up and then yeah. they both actually bro fisted. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Now, next is for the UK championship. Now, this was another good match. Oh, yeah. Pete Dunne versus Walter. Walter. Yeah. For the NXA United Kingdom championship. Mm hmm. Pete Dunn had it for like 600 and something days. Basically two years. Almost like two years. Well, actually two years. And both of them did not give a lick. They both showed themselves yeah. bruiser weights. Yeah, a lot of splitting with those fingers. I'm sorry, but I cannot see fingers being split because it's just... Ugh. Yeah, you can't handle gore or anything. But... Walter won. Walter, the new yeah. United Kingdom champion. They both gave it their all. Yeah. Now, another good match. Another the one. the Fatal 4-Way. For the NXT mm -hmm. Women Championship. Shayna Baszler, Io Shirai, Kari Shane, and Shayna Baszler. Uh, you said Shayna Baszler twice. Well, well, she already won. Well, basically she won. Mm -hmm. Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. Shana, Shana Basil retains it. Well, here's the thing. She didn't even need to use her henchwoman. Yeah, henchwoman wasn't even in there. Nope. Io and Kari actually did a couple of tag team moves, and then they end up fighting each other. And then Bianca... What was it? Bianca um, picked up Io, then picked up Kari, and then she did her move. She was going to... Uh, and then um, Shana Basil made... Uh, Bianca tap out. Last time she passed out, this time she tapped out, so now yep. she's defeated. Mm -hmm. Defeated. <laughs> yep. De and the thing is, um, uh, Bianca was wearing all her matches on her outfit. Yep. Yeah. And what's her name, Bazaar? I don't know how to pronounce that. Basler. Basler. She grabbed a hold of Bianca's hair, remember? Yep. That was crazy, like pulling it. Well, maybe you should trim it. Mm. Uh, no more lone hair. The, um, but they won, like, car, yeah, you, alright. Yeah, mm -hmm. But anyway, the main event was another extreme awesome match. Johnny Wrestling and, uh, Adam Cole. Adam Cole! But here's the thing, but here's the thing. At, towards 
the end of the match, we noticed this uh, a certain notice? YouTube. We certain we spotted a certain YouTuber in the front row. Yeah, kid behind the camera. Yup, sitting right in the front row with his hat and glasses. And he had a camera. He had that camera. And he had a little black camera. I'm surprised we didn't see him. He didn't have a lucky uh, wrestling figure with him. <laughs> yeah, but he was really excited when Johnny Gargano won. Yeah, Johnny Gargano actually won. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it go. Adam Cole picked up a win via roll up. Then Johnny Gargano picked up a win with a roll up, and Johnny Gargano won. Almost didn't win because the undisputed guys showed up and almost screwed his match. But Johnny Gargano made Adam Cole tap out, baby. The second fall wasn't a via roll up. It was submission. Are you yeah, sure? It was yeah, because he went like this. He tapped. Tapped. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. Does it really matter? But it doesn't matter. He won it. But it was just, oh man, it, the Adam Cole's posse tried to help. Gargano got rid of them. Gargano was bleeding. Gargano, yep. and, uh, Gargano got poked in the eye and the ref got distracted. Adam Cole. And then the posse did a tag team move on Gargano, yep. making the ref get back in the ring, but he got kicked out. And it was just... They attacked him out, uh, Adam Cole, pl uh, attacked him at the table, almost, uh, almost, um, got, um, counted out, but he made him he tap made out in the ring. Right there. And then right after the the match, his, w his wife showed up. Candice LeRae. And Candace. then as they walked towards up the ramp, Tomasa's Champa was there and they hugged it out. Yep. It also looked like Cole was mad at his posse. Yeah, they did. Because Bobby, what is Bobby Fish, was like, like that. Well, they're jobbers. They're jobbers. They're like these little minions. They're like these little henchmen. They're jobbers, Missy. That's what you call it what? nowadays. Jobbers basically just do nothing but they don't stand out in the spotlight or anything. They don't get a moment in the sun. They just do what they're told. Kind of like an understudy. But... I thought this pay-per-view was awesome. Of course it is. Yeah. It was. Well, well that Sunday is going to be WrestleMania. Yeah. Sunday is WrestleMania, so here we go. Yeah. But here's what how WrestleMania is going to end up being. They're going to be like a, a few good matches people are going to want uh, going to watch. But then everyone's going to get tired the later it gets. And it's going to be let's see it's almost like that roll. It's like a roller coaster. You go up the ramp and then you go down, and then you get all the thing goes fast and uh, you're excited for it. You go through the wheels and stuff, but then towards the end, it starts to slow down and then just feels, you know, like you get off the that um the uh, adrenaline, but. They kind of try to spice it up for the, uh, what is it, the, all the titles are on the line, so everything goes. So, we gotta figure who, who well, uh, okay, we only got two winners for this. We got Charlotte and Becky. Mm hmm So, that, since it's gonna be Raw and SmackDown women's titles on the line, the winner will be the Undisputed women's champion just like how back uh, when they had the um the world title and then they had the heavyweight title and then they combined it to make the the title right yeah mm -hmm. yeah well here's the thing who's gonna challenge becky lynch for so here's the thing i say becky's gonna win no but here's the thing after wrestlemania if she wins is both titles on the line, or is it, or, or is someone from Raw gonna have to go and challenge Becky for that title, for the Raw title back? Uh, I don't know. We just yeah. got to yeah. find out and see. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the thing. You kind of made it, you, uh, you hyped it up, but you didn't think things through like afterwards. Mm. 
We got Sunday, just find out. Let's see, yep. we got the Universal Championship. We got some regular matches. There's a lot of good matches Sunday. Got well, the, the Andre the Giant the one, <laughs> they want to make that funny. To see Braun Strowman beat up two jobber guys. That was just going to look funny. Go, bloop, bye, see you later. Get these hands. It's yeah. over. But, no, no, NXT. The one thing that's going to be the main highlight that everyone's going to talk about is the Kofi one. Yeah, Kofi Mania. Mm -hmm. Kofi. Now, NXT now. Mm. What did you thought about this NXT takeover? I thought it was 10 out of 10. I thought it was mad awesome. You always know my answer for yes, NXT. Yes, NXT's always awesome for you. If I were, if... If I were to pick, I would not watch SmackDown or Raw. I'll just go right to NXT. What was your favorite match? I would probably say the Johnny Gargano and the Adam Cole. No, War Raiders. Raiders. War Raiders was good. Yeah, I, mean, I would say the same. The Johnny, Johnny Gargano match. That that was intense. Then there was, no, no because then there's War, Velveteen Dream. Then there's the Pete, the, all of them And the good. women, well, yeah, well, the women's match, that was awesome, too. They're all good matches. It's just... It's why just, would why would you go right to the main event? That's just cheating, cause the main event already. Yeah, cause we just got done watching it. We're recording right now, and you go right to the main event because it's fresh in your brain. No. Yeah. No, I like the Johnny Gun match. That was so, that was really good. What was your number one favorite in order? So, yeah. That's kind of hard to yeah, bro. do that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you... Go. Oh. No, I'm saying to the fan who caught that... <laughs> his slipper, man, whatever. Uh, hope you love. Uh, hope you enjoyed Matt Riddle yeah. feet. <laughs> yeah. We wear those thin. <laughs> but... And we're going to try to spot pick a boy at WrestleMania, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's going to be in the same row, the the same spot. Well, but depends. then again, remember, it's a different stadium, and he paid eight thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars. So, for yeah. tickets. So we'll have to wait until we can see you, pickle boy. All right, yes. that's kind of crazy. That's basically like someone putting up their house in order to make the money. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye bro. Bye, bro, bro. Yeah, bro.